Hello and welcome to another First Impressions game review. Today I'm taking a look at Race the Sun. I saw this game a while back and thought it looked cool so I tried it out and I really like it. I just love the general style and how it plays and yeah, pretty much haven't explored everything here. There's apparently a workshop and some other things, level editor. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the basic play mode and here's how it works. You have a solar powered craft, there's a sun that's setting. You have to avoid the shadows, darkness, try and get points and not crash into things and die while trying to, you know, race to the sun. So, uh, yeah, let's just go in and play so you can see how it works. I just use the arrow keys for that, or for this game, and, uh, yeah. So, it does have a pretty cool soundtrack, which you can't hear because I turned off the music just to be safe. But, uh, yeah, so, you just go around like this and you get different things. Uh, that's actually where I died last time trying to record this. But, uh, so, yeah, you just go around, avoid obstacles, try and head towards the sun. But there's different power-ups you can get and, uh, pretty much collecting these different things, tries, I think they're called. I'll get a score multiplier if I collect enough and it'll keep going up and up sort of thing. So, as you see there, I got a few and when I went to that dark spot it kind of turned well dark but that means also it gets slower and start to lose power so i got my first multiplier oh and there's a little bird that drops stuff oh and that's a speed boost that actually turns back time a bit so the sun rises because the sun will eventually set and okay i cleared the first region which is pretty good or not that great but uh so this bird dropped some more power-ups, and I think this is a- Ooh, a jump boost. So I can press spacebar to use this action. I'll jump up high and start kind of flying in the air now. And oh god. Ah. Because I bagged into that, I lost my multiplier. Because I'm not very good at this game. Oh god. Whew. Ah. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, this is a pretty interesting game. It seems like it's a very- Basic, I guess you could say, art style, and I crashed in a fire explosion and died. So, uh, now we're on the dev screen, so I can sell you a bit more. Uh, it does have a world reset over here, because I believe the map for the world and all the different regions resets every day or so. So, uh, yeah, it has some different stats. Uh, pretty much how it works is you have different regions, each seem to get a bit harder, and there's a bit of, like, a gap between them. And you also have these different goals and levels. I'm currently level 7 of 25, it seems. And, uh, yeah, I think this is how many I completed towards the next level, so I've done one. And these are my different, like, challenges, achievements, whatever you want to call it. So, if I complete one, it's replaced by another, and one of these will light up towards my next level. And by doing this, I unlock different things to configure the ship. Currently, I only have a magnet because... I'm not very good at this, as I said before, but this will allow me to pick up things. So, uh, yeah, but there's these other things like badges and statistics over here, which probably show how horrible I am. So, uh, yeah, but pretty much this is a really cool game, just kind of casual. I personally really like it, so let's just go and try again. Okay, so since the level only changes every day or so, I kind of know where the things are. So, ooh. So I got to use the jump boost that time, and uh, yeah, now let's try going maybe a bit differently than last time. You know, you can try different areas because the layout's different in different areas of the map, if that wasn't redundant. So, yeah. So I think I actually am close to clearing the first region. Ah, whew. So, personally, I find this game really interesting, and you can do a barrel roll. I think you saw that on my achievements, but I've never been able to do 20 at once. Uh, when we get out of the region, I will show you how that's done. But, uh, yeah, I think we're out now. So, pretty much, if I tip all the way one direction and flip, it does a barrel roll. Which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it gives any actual boost besides just being a little thing you can do. But it's kind of hard to do when there's tons of obstacles around. So, uh, and I'm dead. Okay, so I think that pretty much sums up this game, but just to show you, I think I'm going to play a bit more, get a few more jump boosts so I can complete this and show you what happens when you complete one of those things. So, uh, yeah, give me a second. Okay, so uh, this is actually my tenth one here, so if I use that, I now have done it ten times. So if I crash, let's just crash real quick so I can... I'm trying to crash now, and I can't actually crash into anything. But there we go. So hopefully the sound's actually not too loud, but you'll see it completed that, it replaces that, I get another check there. There are three regions without a collision. Um, that might be a problem for me, because I'm not very good at this, but pretty much you can keep going back and trying again. Like, I was just only getting a one jump boost per game, 
But the goal is to get 10, so maybe I can do one region three times over. I might be able to do that. So yeah, I just really like this game because it's just kind of fun. It randomizes, so maybe one day it's just a map you're not good with sort of thing. But the next day you can do better because it will change up. So there's always a reason to kind of keep coming back occasionally. It just kind of keeps staying interesting. A lot of goals to keep working on. So maybe like I can't do many barrel rolls in today's configuration. Maybe tomorrow I'll do better. So I don't know. I just really like this game. I really like the style of it. And yeah, it's just fun. So anyway, um, hopefully you like this first impressions game review. And uh, until next time, goodbye.